Christy. I just got a new shipment in of some great goodies that just released. Um, this was supposed to arrive tomorrow, but it came a day early, so I'm super excited to break into this stuff and start playing. Um, but I wanted to show you all what I got before I start opening packages and stuff. So um, I thought I'd take a minute to go ahead and film that for you. And uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So first of all, these are from Butterfly Reflections, Inc. You guys have um, heard me talk about that shop many, many times. It's my friend Vanessa Middleton's shop. Great selection, great prices, and super awesome customer service and shipping. I'm telling you guys, this stuff comes fast. Um, there is a reason that her shop has grown by leaps and bounds, and that's because you know, she just really cares about her customers and does her very, very best to make you happy. So um, I highly recommend her shop. That's Butterfly Reflections, Inc. And I'll have a link in the description bar below the video. But anyway, so first of all, I got some stuff from Lawn Fawn. Um, I got two stamp sets for this round and a couple of dies. Um, basically what I had done was, you guys know I had a de-stash video recently. Uh, I'm trying not to spend any money right now because I'm saving up for a few pieces of furniture from Ikea for my new craft room in the new house. Um, so I allotted whatever I made from that de-stash to buy new supplies with. So um, when that money ran out, that was it. Um, and <laughs> Since I've already seen a couple more things that I would really like to get, ex especially um, the new Mama Elephant release that's coming up here in just a couple days, it's so adorable. Oh my gosh, like seriously. Um, if you loved the little In My Heart set with the little uh, children, you will love one of the new sets from this release. Uh, it's just adorable. Um, but anyway, so I've got another <laughs> box that I've been setting aside and really making some hard decisions about things that I might be ready to part with so that I can um, earn enough money to be able to purchase some new goodies, you know. So anyway, let's get into this, okay? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So from Lawn Fawn, I purchased the Party Animal stamp set. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the internet. It's been on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. It is so adorable. It features these three little critters here. There's a fox, a bear, and a deer. And they have this whole little party scene. They've got some bird friends, lots of great party hats. I use party hats for so many critters to make birthday cards because birthday cards are like the number one card that, that I personally need to make all the time. I never seem to have enough. So I'm so excited to see three different varieties there of party hats that you can uh, use. There's some different party uh, stream, th uh, those little horns that you can blow. There's some little, um, little marks, you know, for the noise. There's a knife and fork, which would go great with some of the other sets. There's a little mini cake, a flag, an ice cream cone, another present. Um, there's some other presents in different sets, but this one is a, a different one that I've never seen from them before and it's super cute. Some different confetti, a great balloon, and some really great sentiments, make a wish, happy birthday, and let's party. Super awesome set, has everything you could possibly want in a party scene. So really excited about that one. I can't wait to play with this. And of course I did get the matching dies because really, who wants to cut all that stuff out, right? <laughs> I would so much rather be coloring another image, you know, and, you know, getting onto a new card than sitting here and fussy cutting. Um, but that's just my personal, you know, preference. So anyway, the other set that I picked up for this time is the Fantastic Friends. Um, this one is the Fish Tank set. Really, really cute. You've got two different options here. You've got a fish bowl and a fish tank. Lots of great little fish and some coral and as little sand castle, there's some uh, food, some little plants you can add, bubbles, and you get your fantastic best fishes and thank you, which are perfect sentiments. We happen to love fish in this house. We do have a fish tank. It's just a small 10 gallon, um, but we take our pride in it and uh, we're looking forward to hopefully getting a bigger tank in the new house. Um, I just find it really relaxing. I like to sit by it at night and just listen to the water and watch the fish and 
Um, so it's very relaxing. So I thought this was a really cute set and of course matching dyes. Um, I am also going to be getting the barbecue set. I think that one is really cute, but um, um, for being on the landscaping design team, we each get a little bit of a, an incentive, you know, to spend in their shop, and that will be part of that. So when that arrives, um, I'll be sure to share it with you. I'll be picking just a few things up from there. Um, so moving on, though, for now I got the stitch borders, which I think are great. You get like a little a dot, a dash, and then you get like an X stitch, and then you get like a side stitch. So really great. Um, these do not cut all the way through, I believe. I think they just emboss, or maybe they do cut all the way through, but I don't know if it would like cut your actual card apart. I'll have to try those out and see. Um, but it will leave that impression wherever you obviously place the dies. So there could be some good options with these. I think it's going to be a fun accent to play with. Um, I also did get the puffy cloud borders. I think these are really cute. Love the stitching line. And you've got three different sizes there. So depending on the kind of scene you're creating, um, you know, you've got options, which is really nice. Uh, these two I wasn't sure if I was going to need, but in the end I did decide to go with it because um, I've only got one other set of oval dies. They don't have the stitching and they're pretty small. I think, in fact, the largest one is this size and they're from Spellbinders. So those will be going in my D-stash since I obviously do not need two sets of uh, oval dies. Well, I mean, here are two sets, but these all um, nest together. So that will be all that I need in my stash. So if you're looking for some simpler oval dies, watch for my D-stash video, which uh, will hopefully be up in another week or two. Um, but anyway, I thought these were great. And wouldn't that be cool to make like an Easter egg card at Easter time and you could like attach the other um, you know, if you cut two and attach the other one behind, I'll, I'll make a video, I'm sure, and show you guys how to do that, but, um, yeah, I just thought, you know, sometimes an oval makes a nice feature on a card, so I decided to go ahead and try them. The last die that I got from Lawn Fawn is the Milk Carton. If you guys have seen this, it's so adorable. Um, I'll make a video soon showing you how to use it, but it is so cute and makes so many great options. I think, um, you know, you can fill it with candy, with little treats, with little um, mini hand sanitizers and, you know, teacher gifts, all kinds of options for this. It's going to be super cute and I can't wait to play with that. All right, so that's it from Lawn Fawn for today. The next stuff that I got was from W plus nine. And again, I got two stamp sets and two dies. The first one is this Happy Mail uh, set. I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh. As soon as I saw these little critters like in the sneaks, I was like, okay, that one's on my wish list for sure. I love woodland critters. You guys know this. Woodland critters are my favorite. And um, my favorite animal in the entire world, which is not... A woodland critter but is polar bears so he will be so cute I can totally see him on a Christmas card as a polar bear um, you could make the envelope like a Christmas card or um, you could put a, like a little present in his hand or anything in fact <laughs> maybe if they are listening it would be so cute if they actually designed like a holiday companion set for this i don't know if anybody from w plus nine is listening probably not but if they are that would be so cute you know to have like some little presents or maybe like some little um arctic animals the bunnies obviously could still be used in that set but um yeah, maybe like some Christmas sentiments or something, but if not, then I can borrow some sentiments from some of their other Christmas sets and uh, just play around, you know. But anyway, so you get these two little bunnies, you get these two adorable squirrels, and squirrels, you guys know, I love, love, love. Um, the bear, like I mentioned, you get the little birds, there's some little butterflies here which are super tiny and super adorable. There's some flowers and the stump, and the and banner, and the envelope, and just great sentiments. You've got Happy Mail, You're My Favorite Thought, which is so cute. 
always and forever best of friends. Consider yourself hugged, which is another fantastic sentiment. So cute. I can see myself using that on so many cards. And thanks for being so wonderful. So really, really cute. Love that one. And again, there is the dies that match. And then the second and last set that I got from W Plus 9 is the Party Animal. Um, this is a companion set to those elephant sets that came out earlier that we all have fallen in love with. Um, I can see using maybe the elephant and the giraffe together on a really cute card. Um, but what totally sold me on this one is this giant balloon. I think that is so cute and would be so great on so many different cards. Um, you know, all different occasions. You can use these kind of sentiments like you always lift me up when I'm feeling down. Um, and then the other ones are it's your day to go wild, completely wild about you, party like an animal and thank you. But you could also use this as a birthday sentiment. You know, there, there's lots of, you know, different options that balloons, you know, can go for. So um, anyway, you get these two giraffes, which are really cute, and then these three little birds. I can see using these with the elephants as well. Um, like I said, I think they're just really interchangeable with the elephant sets, and uh, of course I did get the matching dies as well. So the last two things that I got are pattern paper. You know me, I'm a pattern paper addict. I have really been trying to control myself. I have not bought that many paper pads this year, um, but you know, it's, I've been trying to do like maybe one or two per season and really utilizing those. You know, I use pattern paper on almost every single card. Like there's hardly ever, I would say 95% of my cards at least I use pattern paper. I just love pattern paper. Um, so these are the two that I chose for now. These is uh, Fun in the Sun by Pebbles. I think this one is super bright and cheery and fun. It has 36 papers. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of what that one looks like. Really great summer theme here. You get two sets of those tags. Um, there's beach balls, which are just gorgeous. Really happy rainbow stripes. There's lemons, watermelon seeds green flip-flops, waves. This is my favorite pattern paper in the entire pad right here, these cherries. I just love them for whatever reason. I just think cherries scream summer to me and I can totally see it paired with this red gingham that's later on um, in the pattern paper right there. So that would be super cute. You've got some typography. There's some more waves. Okay, this one I'm just going to be real. This is not me at all. Like, not at all. But that's okay. You know, two sheets out of the whole pad is not bad, right? So, the pink polka dots, popsicle sticks, um, there's like sunshine stripes, another rainbow stripe. This all just reminds me of the beach and beach towels and you know, just total summer fun. So there's another, um, it's navy blue, and I don't know if you can see on camera, but it has a tiny little dot like wave there. And that's the end of this one. So I can see using that on a ton of cards. The other one, is Echo Park Homegrown by Alicia Gordon and Casey Fry. This one only has 24 papers in it. I wish it were bigger, um, but the papers that I that are in here I pretty much love every single one so and this I don't know it's just like really farm fresh kind of feeling I thought it would be awesome with like the critters on the farm from Lawn Fawn or you know the set with the ants um, the summer set or the um, the making lemonade set there's just a lot of cards like ideas that I have already for this pattern paper so you get some wildflowers and these are double-sided, so you get an, a really nice, like, teal gingham. There's more um, cherries, uh, fruits and vegetables, green polka dot. This is, like, burlap, which I love. I wish there were a couple more in here because that I could see using on so many things. Uh, little milk jars, which I think are really, really cute. I guess I don't need to talk through every one, but... And, um, the pineapples are really cute. There's another sparser wildflower. There's some uh, rain, 
jugs or watering cans honeycomb and there is a really pretty floral I do really like that one red stripes this one I adore I can totally see this with this lawn fawn baked with love set they'd be so cute with that one so and I have yet to use that set so that will probably be my inspiration you've got some chickens and roosters carrots I really like this eggplant color that they threw in there it's kind of a different pop of color there so and then the whole thing just repeats itself again but I just really liked it I, it just drew my eye and th I thought it was really different and um, yeah so that is my haul I hope you guys enjoyed I hope that gave you some ideas of some products that are out on the market gave you an up close look at them so that you can decide if there's something that you would be interested in picking up um, like I said, I, I will be uh, getting just a couple more things from Lawn Fun um, in the near future, and then I do plan on ordering from the Mom Elephant release, but <sighs> after that, <laughs> I think I need to take a little break for a while and just play with all these goodies that I've gotten, but um, like I said, I earned the money by de-stashing other things, so that's a great way to... Uh, you know, not only did I earn the money for it by de-stashing, so I got rid of some other things, but I also made the space in my craft room, you know, so it's not like um, you're just adding to the clutter. I'm actually, you know, getting rid of some things and making room for some new, so I guess everybody needs to do that every once in a while, right? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with another card making video. Bye-bye.